Hey everybody, so I am here today with my new BFF, Melissa Gilbert, because we are partnering on a shooting video for her platform, Modern Prairie, and for us, for Funny People Making Food, and you're funny, so welcome. I certainly hope I'm funny today. Today yes. would be a bad day to not to <laughs> be unfunny. Naturally funny. Naturally. So, um, the first thing we're going to make for our little series is butter. Because mm. what is more important than butter? It's the foundation of all that matters. All that matters. <laughs> and also, what's more prairie than making your own butter? Right? Nothing. I mean, you, you were there it. on the prairie with Ma churning away yep. as a kid, yep. right? Yep. So in the crock, we have cream and we have buttermilk because we're just culturing the cream. Right. So the cream is combined with something with like bacterial culture in it, buttermilk, yogurt, yogurt, something like that. That allows the cream to start to thicken and sour a little bit. So that's to make cultured butter. You can do this with just straight up cream. That'll be sweet butter, yeah, right? But we like the cultured butter because we're cultured people. We are, or mm -hmm. we try to, we pretend to be. Classy bitches here on the prairie we, yeah. in Brooklyn. So we, I let this sit for about 24 hours, but you can do it for actually up to seven days. My friends, the dairy farmers told me. Provided that, that your that place doesn't get too hot. Too hot, too right. Cold. So room temp is yeah, what you want. Temp. Yeah, so this has been sitting out for 24 hours. We are gonna now cool it down because it has to go back down to 60 degrees. And then we're going to get it into our very modern prairie food processor. I love a food processor. And make butter. We're not going to churn by hand. So we cultured our cream. We did. Cultured, I yes. guess. Very cultured. We took it to the symphony, to a play. We did. We took it to Lincoln Square. Shakespeare. We, to a we did. Yeah. We went to a museum. Yeah. And um, then uh, we cooled it back down because it, you wanted it to be cool. Well, it got very excited by all the art, so, so it had to calm down. It had to calm down. Yes, yeah, so it's been in the fridge, and you want to take it back down to about 60 degrees. So now that's about where we're at. And now we're going to pour it into our very old-fashioned butter churn. Yes. AA, the food processor. And Ma would have loved to have one of these. One way to make butter is to just start whisking it by hand, right? Like you're making whipped cream, but then whoops, you accidentally go too far and you've made butter. And plenty of people I think have done that by mistake. So you can do that by hand with a whisk. You can put it in a jar and just shake it. Take anywhere up to like five minutes, depending on your cream. So we are gonna turn this on, we're gonna let it run. starting to get like green granules yep. right and so you go we're gonna go just like another 20 30 seconds until it looks almost like cottage cheese when you make butter what separates out from the butter is the whey the whey which then if left to sit overnight naturally cultures and thickens but only if it's like raw cream like old school buttermilk would be like what ma did because that was raw milk Right, right. This way, if we let it sit out overnight, it's not really going to get sour or thick. We would have to add more culture to it, which would be yogurt or yogurt other buttermilk. or other buttermilk. Right, and commercial buttermilk is just milk that's had culture added to it. But as you can see now, we have clumped beautifully like that. Okay, so I'm just doing like like a preliminary straining here, and a little pressing. Now we're gonna put it into our Fed's colander, which is right. also great for storing berries, berries because it's aerated, it's right. moldy. If you go out to the garden and pick your produce, you put it in Yeah, there. you sure can. So I have this set over bowl, and then this is just a flour sack towel. That is moist. That is, yes, because if it's dry, this will stick, right? So whenever you use cheesecloth, we're pretending this is cheesecloth, you get it wet first. Okay. Okay, so now this, boom. In there. Now this could become, could become buttermilk, right? We can add more culture to it, let it sit out again. Pressing and kneading like that. Just like when I taught you how to make the pie dough, kind of the same process. Press out like as much of that liquid as you can because the more liquid we get out of it, the more buttery it'll taste, but also the longer it'll keep. Because remember, water is what makes food spoil, right? So the removal of water is key if you are making your butter for life on the prairie. This It's like you grew up doing it. It's weird, isn't it? It's right? like I've been doing it I since I was a child. Seven years old there in Walnut Grove. Yeah, yeah. into the butter bell. But I think we need yeah. to taste it. What are you finding? I just found a little, no, no, a little piece of schmutz. It's better now. That's just from when we milked the cows. That's just oh, a that's straw. straw. Yeah, from um, Dot and Bessie, or whatever <laughs> they were called. Yeah. Now, do I keep smashing or do I mix You it? can knead it by hand or you can use the towel, whichever oh, you prefer. This just seems like so much fun to, to knead your butter. To do. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
cultured butter has a little bit of a tang to it. Right. Now this only cultured for 24 hours, so it's not very tangy, but my dairy farmer friends told me you could culture for up to seven days. So if you want, if you like a really tangy right, cultured load butter, the load the butter bill. <laughs> Said no one in Brooklyn ever. <laughs> and then see the butter bill? Just goes in like that. Oh, there you go, and it just sits on your counter. It sits on your counter. I'd say maybe two weeks max, and then you give it a little clean and put and more butter in. And your hands are nice and soft. So we made butter. We made butter. Nice work. Rub it in. It's so moisturized. Nature's original moisturizer. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm.